Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this will be my last video on Gears tonight. Uh, Gears would be the new add-on game for the Revolution 1 uh, smart contract. <coughs> so it's been a, a long day. Uh, we've all, as a community, been, been finding out more about this game as we go. Uh, the ins and outs, exactly how it works. Um, in the beginning, really, uh, the majority of what I knew was simply that it worked. You know, um, I was just dumping Ethereum in here and I was getting way more out than I was putting in. Um, so <coughs> since then, you know, uh, Crypto Country Boy did a live stream with Dan. Um, and then I was in on a Discord call uh, with Dan. And Dan is the, uh, the developer behind Revolution 1. Now, he doesn't like to admit that. He says he's just a, a player who hired some guy to write the code. But he's had a lot of input on this project. And it is his baby. So, um, we were talking with him. And, uh, you know, we answered a lot of questions. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and restart the tutorial with everything that we know. Um, first and foremost... Uh, this is the mobile screen, you know, as, as my subscribers know, uh, I stream on mobile devices. Um, I don't, I don't use computers. I don't trust computers. None of that shit. You know, I'm paranoid. Um, no, I just, I've never really had a reason, uh, to own a computer because <laughs> by the time it was really probably a good idea for me to have one, 99% of what you can do on a computer, you can also do on a phone. Maybe not quite as well, but it's still functional, so... Um, I've just stuck with phones. So, um, if you use computers, your screen's going to look a little bit different. From my understanding, the windows load um, from the left, like like three columns, left, middle, and right. And also, from my understanding, is they are just they're in the same order. If you look at it, like left, middle, left, down, uh, middle, top, middle, middle. You know, but regardless. It'll be the same windows, maybe just a little bit slightly different order. So now that we have that out of the way, I'm just going to go in order explaining what we know about each of these windows. First and foremost, the I am owed window. Um, this is a very important window. It tells you how much Ethereum is coming your way. When is it coming? I don't know. <laughs> I can't really tell you that. Um, the best thing that we can do for now is when you... When you buy in, you need to kind of take like a snapshot, if you will, um, of the current backlog and the current total number of participants, and I'll get to that later. Uh, once I have explained those windows, I'll explain how you put those together to understand both your spot in line and how many people have been paid uh, from the doubler. Um, but this window by itself, its only function is to tell you how much Ethereum is coming your way. Now, if you pay attention to it, if you're like me, and you have a lot of Ethereum coming your way, once you see this number go down a little bit, and it's going to go down 0 0.0625 at a time. If you've been putting in nothing but 0 0.05. Uh, so whatever your capital plus 25% is going to be per transaction, that's how much it's going to go down. So for example, if you've been putting in 0 0.01 at a time, it'll go down by 0 0.01125. Or sorry, 0 0.01250 at a time. But the important thing is that once you start seeing it go down, you know that you're next in line. And the rest of it will soon follow. Um, until then, <laughs> you're going to be looking at the same number for a long time. All right. Next is the backlog amount. This currently does not work, at least on mobile devices. I understand it doesn't really work on computers either. Once it is working, it should show how much Ethereum is in the backlog. It does show you how much uh, the USD value is. So you could work backwards if you knew the current price of Ethereum. Just divide that by this and you should get the Ethereum. But as of right now, it doesn't work. Contract balance also <laughs> just doesn't work. Um, once it is working, fairly simple. It'll show you how much... Uh, Ethereum is in the total contract, so it'll be this number plus um, the Ethereum that is held by the whale. Dividends now also <laughs> does not work. Um, 
And I'm also not entirely sure what the purpose of this window is because we don't actually buy tokens for ourselves, for our own account when we put money into the gears. So by that, you know, there should not be any dividends that we are generating uh, for each user when we put it in. But the window's here, so I'm a little curious. You know, that's something that um, we will find out later. The total dividends. Now, this is important, guys. These, are, This is the dividends generated by the whale that was created and, uh, <laughs> you know, grows when you put Ethereum in. So when you put Ethereum into this, I should probably back this up for people that don't know. 25% uh, of the Ethereum that you put in is used to purchase Rev1 tokens. And those Rev1 tokens are for an account that is set up identically, uh, almost identically to uh, Free Divi, which is the current, you know, super whale that was has been <laughs> in in uh, in revolution from the beginning. Um, so this this game has created a second whale. Um, it did not start with twenty thousand tokens. It just started with none. And uh, every time we put Ethereum in, it buys tokens, buys Rev1 tokens for this account. Like Free Divi, those tokens can never be sold, never be transferred. There is no option for that. Unlike Free Divi, uh, this whale doesn't share his dividends with us. Not in the way that Free Divi does. Instead, they're collected and they're held here. Um, and users, what you can do is you can use these dividends to pay the line out. So you're going to pay the people that are in front of you in line. Unless you happen to be at the front of the line, then you're paying yourself that. Um, now, keep in mind, this is not in addition to the Ethereum that you are owed for that 25% return. This is part of that, okay? Um, so this is very important because uh, how these contract doublers, uh, you know, they're, they're called contract killers in some circles, but these Ethereum doublers, doublers these Bitcoin doublers, um, they get clogged, and then there's a point where no matter what you do, your Ethereum is gone. It's going to be in this contract forever. This whale is the answer, and these dividends are the key. Um, the purpose of this is if nobody else, starting right now, enters this contract, then you would think that your Ethereum is stuck because while 25% of the Ethereum that you put in here buys tokens for this whale, 75% pays people in front of you in line. Um, so for every one Ethereum you put in here, 0.75 is getting paid to other users. 0.25 Ethereum is being used to buy uh, Rev1 tokens for the whale. So if people stop coming in, what happens to your Ethereum in the contract? That's the problem that uh, the other doublers always run into. It's inevitable. It eventually happens. Um, so this is the answer. And the answer is that the dividends generated from the, from the uh, whale account that has Rev1 tokens those will be used to pay the people in line. So if nobody else gets into this from now until the end of time, eventually all, what's there, 444 people in here that have not been paid out, eventually all 444 people would be paid out, uh, 444 transactions. So we don't know how many actual people that is. Um, I can almost guarantee it's less than 444 because right now I've got 15 transactions in here. Uh, <clears throat> somewhere in that ballpark. So if I have more than one, I guarantee I'm not the only guy. Regardless, there are 400 transactions still pending. 444 to be exact. Still pending. Uh, so eventually, this whale account would generate enough dividends from Rev1 tokens to pay out those 444 transactions. Now, I don't foresee that being a problem here uh, anytime soon. But the good news is that once this whale grows to a point where it's generating a ton of dividends, then we don't need to, you know, be reliant on other players entering gears. You know, you can put in your Ethereum and, and have relative assurity that your Ethereum will be returned through the whale's dividends, you know, in a decent amount of time. You know, we're not talking months and years like some of these, you know, Bitcoin doublers or Bitcoin, you know, I, I was in Bitcoin doublers a couple of years ago, I'm pretty sure... I still have, you know, Bitcoin on some of these websites stuck in a contract. Moving on. Backlog length. This is important when you're getting in because this tells you how many transactions are in front of you. So if you were to get in right now, there are 300 transactions in front of you that need to be cleared before it start, gets to your first one. 
So if you're only doing one, that's fine. But if you're doing, say, 10 or 15 or 20 of these at a time, just know that 300 other transactions are going to have to get cleared first. Um, how long is that going to take? I, I can't tell you. No one can tell you when that'll happen. Just It will happen, just not when. The total tokens, this is the tokens that are held by that whale account that I was telling you about. So in eight and a half hours, this account has gone from zero to 3353.3714 rev tokens. Pretty good little chunk of change. More importantly, it's a pretty decent amount of tokens that are grabbing those dividends. You know, every time people are buying and selling, you know, taking their profit, um, buying back in, whatever the case is, it's generating dividends off of that. And it's generating a large percentage of those dividends. Which is good because you're going to want a large percent to pay everybody in line. Total participants, so that just went up one. Damn. All right. <laughs> Uh, total participants, these are the number of um, transactions that have been cleared. Um, so they are done, they are completed. The Ethereum has been returned to the wallet that uh, initiated the, the contract, plus the 25%. So now, how do you use this window and this window uh, for your own good? Well... First and foremost, if you add these two together, so 301 plus 745 is <coughs> 1,046. Um, that is the total participants number that you need to keep in mind if you get in right now. So what I would do is I would say maybe take a screenshot of that or a screenshot of this, or if you can get both of them in one screenshot, just take one. Um, write down... You know, or you can write down the number of participants that you're looking for. And once this gets to 1,046, you should know that you're the next guy in line. You know, so that's why you can track it without looking at that balance up top. I know I'm coming up very close. There was <laughs> YouTube videos going on, so I forgot to take a screenshot this round, but I did take screenshots in previous rounds. Um, but I know I'm getting very fairly close, and that's actually, I was trying to stay up until this round cleared so I could put it back in before I went to bed. Uh, I may just have to wait till morning. It is what it is. Um, so, um, you can you can add those two together to, to get an idea of, of how long you'll be waiting in line. You know, uh, you can watch it to, to keep an eye as it gets closer to your number. You know you're getting closer and closer. Uh, another way that you can use these two is you subtract the backlog from the total participants to to get a number of transactions that have been cleared. So right now it's still going to be at 444, um, which is very important. That means, you know, 444 transactions have cleared this thing. You know, we've gotten our money back. Some of us have put it back in. Some of us just did it one time, like, cool, and I'm done. But regardless, you know, it's, it just lets you know how many people have gotten uh, or how many transactions have been successful. And then the total spent is kind of nice. Uh, so it's 35.2 Ethereum has been sent to this contract, uh, which is pretty, pretty outstanding. You know, one day for an optional add-on game, that's pretty good. Now, send dividends to Gears. When this button works, what it will do is you press it once, you pay one gas fee and it'll send your dividends from Rev1 and put them into um, gears. Okay, so it'll do that for you. You don't have to spend gas to pull it back to your MetaMask and then spend gas to send it from MetaMask to gears. It would be one transaction, which would be nice. However, right now it doesn't work. Um, the UI guy is working on it. Um, he knows about the problem. He's working on it. Uh, he's, you know, he works. He's a single dad, you know, so um, it's not something that he can devote 100% of his time to, but it is definitely high on his priorities to get all these buttons uh, working properly. And, and from my understanding, that is his number one priority um, is to get all the buttons working properly, um, including the 
lottery, which I don't really play the lotto, so I'm not going to spend much time on the lotto. Um, but <laughs> they have identified the problem and they're working on a solution. Um, Dan explained the problem to me. I'm not a programmer. It pretty much all went over my head. So I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I understand a lot of things. Some things I don't. Um, but uh, basically there was, you know, some people were using scripts to automate transactions to try and get a large percentage of the lottery tickets to try and, in, like, super increase their chances of winning. Um, so that's not really fair to everybody involved. So they're trying to find a way to uh, stop that from happening. Um, but in the meantime, just ignore this button. Uh, this right here is your buy-in. So you can put in up to 0.05. Or you can go, you know, 0 0.04 or 0 0.004 or 0 0.04 three nine eight, whatever. As long as it doesn't go above 0 0.05, if you do try and do 0 0.05, your transaction uh, will be rejected. Oh, which by the way, if you do if you do press this button, uh, the transaction will go through. You will get charged gas, and then it will fail, <laughs> and then you're just out gas. You're just paying gas for no reason. So just don't don't press that button for now. Now this button was a topic of a lot of debate today. We finally have our answer. What this button does, it does not pull all your ETH out of the contract. All right, there are a lot of people that are speculating. You press that button, you can just get your ETH back. You will get no profit. There are people speculating that press that button, you get your ETH back minus a haircut for pulling out early. <laughs> there are people that said it didn't work. It works. We just didn't know what the hell we were doing. So, call out payout. What does it do? Well, if we come back to the dividends, right here, the dividends, and then we hit the call out payout, it will generate a transaction in MetaMask. Okay. Um, now, if you want to, if I wanted to, I could choose to pay the gas for this transaction. And I'm not going to because 10 guai is going to cost me $1.50. So if I put it up to 20 or 15, it's going to be a couple bucks. Um, that's just a lot of gas. I, I don't, I don't like paying a couple bucks for gas. Um, but what it will do is it will, uh, you know, that transaction will, uh, there it is. It'll signal this dividend to get paid to the line. So whoever's first in line will get this Ethereum, you know. Um, so it'll move the line forward. If you're first in line, it, you'll be, you're paying yourself. Um, if you're not first in line, hopefully that was the last little bit to get the guy that is first in line out of the way so that maybe now you're next in line. Um, it's a gamble, you know. Some people may not mind paying it because it just means that they're going to get their uh, Ethereum faster. Uh, some people don't mind paying it because they might be paying themselves. Um, some people just don't want to pay it because who knows where it's going. Um, personally, the only reason I didn't hit that button is because that would be a really obnoxious gas price, and I just don't feel like paying two dollars for a damn transaction. You know, I was paying <laughs> anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty all day to get this in and out as quick as possible, um, and I've I've done very very well on this game today. Um, I've I've made almost one Ethereum in profit. Um, I did start with 0.5. Worked my way up to a little over one Ethereum, bought 0.5 worth of uh, Rev1 tokens, and then built myself back up uh, to 0.62 uh, plus the 0.04 that I still have in the wallet there. Um, you know, so the reason I'm not saying like, oh yeah, I made 0.625 in profit, uh, it's because like I said, I've been paying. Uh, one, you know, anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty in gas for almost every transaction today. And I think I've done like 90 something transactions today. So 
I've paid probably in the ballpark about $110 in gas fees today playing this game. Was it worth it? Fuck yeah, it was worth it. But <laughs> that's a lot of gas. You know, and that's easy. You know, it, <laughs> Ethereum's right around 500 bucks. So, you know, you take that 0.66 plus 25, and that's pretty darn close to a whole Ethereum in pure profit. You know, and if this had gone through one more time before I'd gone to bed, it would have been more than one Ethereum that I had generated in profit today in the last nine hours, which is insane for a 0.5 initial buy-in. That's crazy. Uh, this game has been a lot of fun. I've had a blast playing it all day, been answering questions, been <laughs> checking the balance, <laughs> running back and forth, uh, doing live streams, but just been, uh, I've been having a blast today on, you know, it was just fun. And I'm really, really thankful um, to Dan the Revolution Man uh, and the Golden Yogi is the guy who came up with the idea for a 0.05 limit and only, you know, limiting it to a 25% return, which is genius because that is what has allowed so many transactions to complete. You know, if you don't, if you don't set a, an Ethereum limit, you know, or you set it at like 0.5 or 1 or something, that contract's going to get clogged so freaking fast, you know, it might be able to push 5 or 10 through and then it'll just get stuck, you know. And then the only paying out 25% also helps keep things going through. You know, so uh, the Golden Yogi, thank you very much. I am loving this game. This is the best doubler I've ever played. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And this is a very, very sustainable one. Whereas the other doublers are not. Uh, they don't last very long. Oh, what the hell happened? Okay. They don't last long, but the way this is set up, especially with that super whale... This can last for a very, very long time, guys. You know, I'm very excited about this. Um, so I think that is just about it for Gears, how it works um, as of right now. Um, things will change a little bit once these two buttons get fixed, although not much. Um, it'll still operate the same basic way. Um... And once, where did it go? Once this works, it'll be a whole new way to play it. You know, uh, once that works, it'll be a fairly simple way to multiply your Rev 1 dividends. You know, you just need a little bit of patience. Um, but once that works, it's going to be a great way to multiply your dividends, especially if you happen to have point like oh four eight in dividends. <laughs> You know, it's like almost the perfect amount. Just send that to the gears and instead of, you know, 0.048, you'll have, you know, just a little over 0.06. You know, just that little extra. Um, why not? But for right now, <laughs> it's just fun. It's just a good, <laughs> good, uh, good working game. You know, I've, I've had a lot of fun with this thing today. You know, and I hope a lot of other people play this because it, it works. <laughs> it's great. Um, I'm going to shoot back. Yeah, let me pause the video just just in case, because I'd ask these guys if I could do this before I started the video, but uh, I didn't hear a response, so one second. Oh. Okay, so this is the Revolution 1 Discord. Um, it's just been a very, very great community. Everyone here is very uh, friendly, which is great, but helpful, which is even better. You know, everyone here has absolutely no problem you know, if they know the answer to something somebody's asking, they will tell them. You know, so it's great that that's, there's a whole community that is behind not only making money, you know, the individuals making money, but, you know, how do we better this community? How do we better the game? You know, so many great ideas come from this Discord right here. You know, it's just a really great place. So um, I'm going to copy the link here if I can invite... I may not be. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Never expires. So I will copy this link. And I'll put the link to this Discord in the um, in the box. Any questions? Uh, 
I will post the link to this Discord uh, in the description box for this video. Um, so if you're not in it, you have a way to get into it, um, as well as the link uh, for the Warpig Investments Discord and Telegram group. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video running for another couple minutes, give these guys a chance to respond, because we were, we were talking, you know... We were having a, a conversation before I started this video. I just wanted to get this done before uh, before I went to bed because I should have been in bed about half an hour ago, you know. But waiting for those uh, for those gears to turn kept me awake a little bit later than they should have. Um, in the meantime, I will take you over to this is the uh, War Pig Investments Telegram. There is people in here from all walks of crypto life. Uh, You've got day traders, you've got um, developers, you've got programmers, you've got people that are, are plugged into to so many different aspects of the crypto community um, that we talk about all kinds of different stuff. Uh, we talk about past projects that we were in that aren't entirely dead yet. We talk about uh, upcoming projects. This is where I learned about Block Broker. You know, this is just a lot of stuff, you know, and there's a lot of general fooling around and, in, in, uh, you know, shenanigans that happen in here, but it's it's fun. It's all fun. Uh, so, uh, it's a pretty good little, <laughs> yeah, come on, TDN. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty great little uh, uh, Telegram group. I have a lot of fun here, and there's a lot of really good information in there as well. Um, let's head back into Discord there. Okay, it doesn't look like they've got anything for me before I go to bed, so I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Um, it's been it's been a long day. It's been a fun day. Um, I'm especially glad that Gears came out today, uh, because this is generally not a good day for me. Um, you know, but it was able to distract me, and distract me in the best possible way, where I was making a lot of money, uh, and having a lot of fun. So. Uh, just on a personal note, I'm very glad the gears came out today. Um, but I hope that you had a good Memorial Day, that you were able to get together with friends and family, uh, and you know that you spent a moment to reflect on what this day is all about. Uh, that is, if you're in America, and if not, I don't know what the hell y'all do on this day. <laughs> it probably doesn't mean much to you. Um, but it's a pretty big one for me. So um, <coughs> I enjoyed today. I had myself a nice little steak. Uh, I was able to make some money, have a lot of fun, you know, and generally just not uh, get dragged down like I normally do on this day every year. Uh, so I'll end it with that. Um, if you guys have any questions that pop up, you know, feel free to leave me a comment on the video. Um, you can usually reach me, you know, either that Telegram group or this Discord group, uh, you know, and uh, if I'm not there and if I don't have the answer, there's a very, very, very good chance that there is somebody there at that time who does, uh, who would be more than willing to help you out. So um, if you have any questions, ask me, ask the guys in the Discord and the gals, you know, ask the Telegram group, uh, get the answers to the questions that you seek. You know, don't just take my word for it that this thing works. Uh, make sure that you understand it first. Uh, it's <laughs> very, 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 very low risk in this particular game, um, but it is crypto. There is always a risk. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so make sure that you, if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, get the answers first before you put them in. Uh, other than that, enjoy your trip through the gears. <laughs>